Good morning and welcome to the Ham Radio Shack of KA4PNV, uh, John Lyons. Uh, this morning we're going to be uh, looking at some of the, uh, the most used uh, digital modes on amateur radio. I uh, just began to get into this and learn a little bit, a bit about it. Well, I'll start off here with first with the JT65 HF version 1093 that I'm running on this Kentwood here, this uh, TS520 Kentwood here, which isn't uh, an elaborate rig. It's just a basic, uh, a basic rig here. It's uh, a pretty good solid performer. I've had it for several years, uh, and. Uh, you can see on the screen that the monitor I have atop of the uh, the rig here is uh, is the JT6065 uh, uh, HF program running here on 40 meters on uh, 7076 uh, 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 zero. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me, I said 40 meters, didn't I? I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, or 20 meters. I get mixed up here sometimes. It's actually on 20 meters. It's on 14076 here on 20 meters with the, the TS820. And there's quite a, a number of QSOs uh, going on there this morning. And people calling CQ and so forth. Uh, quite, uh, quite a number of people on there uh, calling CQ. I see uh, some DFs on there and uh, some other uh, DX that's, uh, that may be running on there. Uh, I thought I let's see if there's anything else on here in the way of DX. Let's see here. Down there at the bottom is a PJ uh, 2 MI, I believe, there at the bottom calling CQ. Anyhow, uh, I've been running the uh, the uh, <coughs> JT65 HF version here probably for about uh, four months. <coughs> and I, it's just a basic setup here. All I basically have here. Uh, hooked up to the receiver is a receive audio from the ham receiver to the mic input of the sound card and the output audio from the sound card to the mic input of the rig here and it's the only thing I have in between the two is an isolation tra transformer uh, uh, in between the, the mic and the uh, uh, the mic input and the audio out, uh, output of the uh, the computer. I'll pull the plug out here I'll try to pull the plug out. Here. You notice that they start transmitting on the minute there. If you can see up there. The JT65 uh, starts transmitting on the minute. On each on each minute and receiving on each minute. So you have to have your uh, uh, the program dead deadly accurate on uh, with the time. And you can uh, download the DEMEN Dimension 4 software to keep your computer uh, time current every 15 minutes because if it gets off a few seconds, this program will not work. It has to be very accurate on time before it uh, it will work. So keep that in mind. Okay, I will move over here now to another mode here. I'm running here on my uh, uh, Tempo 1 here. It's an old rig here, a solid performer. Uh, sometimes I think the old uh, rig here is almost immortal. I haven't had any problem with it at all. I've had it about five years. And I have it set up on DigiPan here on uh, on another computer here that I'm running with uh, with DigiPan. This is on uh, on 40 meters here. Sometimes I get mixed up on my bands and when I'm talking. I get kind of uh, twisted up <laughs> in, in, my, in my words. But uh, anyhow, this is the DigiPan. It's running on uh, on 40 meters. It's sitting on 70, 76.0 here on 40 meters. And I use DigiPan over here on 40 meters. And that's a good program. Like I say, I run it here on the Tempo 1. And basically, it's set up the same way as the TS uh, 520S over there. It's, uh, it's basically the same setup that I have. These digital modes are free for the downloading. It's no cost to them. I <coughs> use this old Swan uh, sign out here. <coughs> this 270B here for uh, for talking. I have a uh, AMC 50 mic on it here. If I can get a, I don't think I got good enough resolution to get that on there with this camera. But anyhow, it's an MC 50 mic there that I'm using on uh, 
on the uh, uh, on the uh, the swan. And <coughs> the next program that I'm going to be talking about is the CW Git and CW Type, which are which are CW programs. I have the the CW uh, Type uh, over here on this computer here. Uh, it's a good program. You have to build you a little uh, interface to get it to work with. Uh, with a, uh, a miniature output uh, audio transformer, a switching transistor, and a relay will uh, will work with your sound. And it uh, let me hit the button here and send out a C key here. I, I actually use this on CW uh, for uh, for. Uh, for all my uh, setups here, and it does a good pro. It's a good program. It's running at about 20 words a minute now. I can copy about 35. Uh, so it's running right now at 20, I believe. Okay. This is a J. Uh, this is a CW type program, and the CW Git that uh, is a, a program that will receive the Morse code. It's uh, both of these programs are are, are free uh, software and can be downloaded from dxsoft.com. And there's another one too. Uh, it's a uh, it's a, uh, a flow scan TV. If you're interested in that, that's M M T T Y, uh, and uh, it's, uh, the M M T T Y is a really program, and the M M S S T V is a slow scan TV program. These programs can be downloaded from uh, from uh, Microsoft.ca, and uh, uh, another program. Uh, 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 that uh, that may be interesting to you. These are two programs, the CW Git and CW Type, downloaded from DXSoft.com, and the MMTTY Ready Program and the MMSSTV Slow Scan is downloaded from Hamsoft.ca. All these programs are free amateur radio programs, and it's a blessing that uh, that we do have uh, free software for uh, for amateur radio. Uh, uh, and uh, it's a uh, it's a good uh, a good thing that uh, that we can all uh, uh, use and it don't cost us uh, anything at all. Okay, I'm <coughs> getting close to ending this video here, and uh, <coughs> I do enjoy the digital modes here in amateur radio. The uh, <coughs> the JT sixty five HF, the Digipan, CW Git and a really program and uh, they're very easy to set up in any of these modes you can receive uh, with them with just basically uh, the computer microphone uh, uh, close proximity to the uh, the speaker of the, uh, of the of the receiver speaker will, uh, will decode these things. You do need the upper sideband <coughs> uh, for JT65HF and DigiPan. Uh, you do need the upper sideband for that and the Ready uh, runs on lower sideband, I believe. I've worked Ready on lower sideband, so that's uh, that's some good programs that you may be interested in there. Like I say, I have a basic setup here, nothing elaborate. I'm running uh, running this on the TS520 here, and I'm running uh, the DigiPan over here on the old uh, Tempo One here that uh, has been with me a long time. Okay. Uh, we do appreciate you taking a look at this video, and I'm pr probably getting pretty close to the end of my time here on it. So I thank you for taking a look at it, and God bless you. Uh, this is uh, this is KA4 PNV. Uh, we'll be uh, uh, signing off here for this video, and uh, we thank you for taking a look at it. And uh, I also have some shortwave radio stuff over here too. I like to get in that once in a while. I have the uh, the Grundig there and the DX. Uh, 362 there. Pretty interesting sometimes when there's nothing else to do with ham radio. Okay, thank you very much for looking at this video here in the shack this morning. And uh, 73's, uh, this is KA4PNV. Uh, we will end this video here, and, uh, and God bless you.